with your racket! I promised to look after your body for a thousand years. We never said that it couldn't be music. Well, it would do us both a world of good if that actually was music. You've been sitting there tuning that wretched contraption for hours. It's just not right yet is all. <sighs> and it's never going to be just right for you either. You always come down here to see me when you're in one of your little moods and you just sit there on your little milk crate and fiddle with that instrument like a teenager snap out of your funk already. Frankly, I think it's insulting. Why? Did you think this whole penance thing was going to be games of canasta while we ate Chinese? No. Well, maybe some jelly tubbies. Oh, what were they? The little cute ones? Clangers. Missy. Oh, I've had better imprisonments than this. And I wasn't learning to be good those times. Exactly. This time you're here as a penance, Missy. You must be feeling pretty good about yourself right now. Why would I be feeling good? Do you know how long I've had to put up with Nardol because of this? Not that. This all proves you right, doesn't it? People who are right don't end up locked in a little glass cage working to redeem themselves. No. No, I don't think this proves me right about anything. Then why do you keep me locked up in here? I don't even have a pony to play with. Or that TV. How hard could it be to give me a TV? We could watch clangers. You're there. Because you were going to be executed. This has nothing to do with me being right, or vindicated, or justified. We were friends once, Missy. I just want my friend back. I want that too. It's all I've ever wanted. But this? This isn't having your friend back. Am I your penance, Doctor? No, I'm here to... Lesson plan. All oh, right. Lesson plan. By fiddling away with your knobs on that silly little guitar for hours while sulking. Well, I'm clearing my head then. Oh, come now, Doctor. Don't lie to me. I can see every wrinkle on that frowny face of yours. I know how to read that expression. If that's you clearing your head... Then I'm a Bandrel Ambassador! Is this some elaborate distraction? Are you unpicking the lock right now? Oh, for God's sake! No! I'm haggling! I thought, no, hoped, that spending all this time with my bestie would be more fun. Missy, being good isn't about being fun. Maybe one day you'll see that. Fine. Maybe this isn't supposed to be fun. At the very least, though, you could do something other than that wretched tuning. Very well. What do you propose? Well, if you're really coming down here to clear your head and draft up little lesson plans for the pets upstairs, teach me one of your lessons. Well, it's not a very complicated lesson. They're just students. Uh, as long as it's not you tuning your guitar, I'll take it. I'm not really that far into it. You haven't got one, have you? No, no, I definitely have a lecture planned. My lesson. Fine, then. Um, here it is. Pain. Is that it? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, it is. You know, I thought it was quite an effective lesson. Really cuts for all the techno babble. You know, students never like it when you give them too much techno babble. It trips them up while they're taking notes. They just want something simple and to the point. Oh, of course they want something simple and to the point. The students, poor lambs, just want to sleep and forget about the capitalism abattoir that's going to make them all into little happy meals. They don't need a sulky Scotsman taking up any more of their time. Look, 
You wanted my lesson plan and I gave it to you. Can't you ever let yourself be satisfied for one moment? Look, if I were satisfied, just for one moment, You'd immediately go back to fingering that guitar. Ah, so this is an elaborate distraction. Fine. You caught me. My devilish master plan to stop you playing the guitar and get you to talk to me for once in your life. How evil is that? No, that's not evil. That's... Then why are you just so suspicious of me? You say I'm your friend, and then you jump on anything I do and accuse me of some nefarious scheme. I'm not scheming. I'm locked up here, all by myself, alone, with my thoughts. I'm sorry, Missy. Do you know what that's like? Being trapped in a cage like this for centuries. Can you even imagine that loneliness? Well, maybe not a cage. But you know what it's like. And you know me. You know my past, Doctor. You know what I'm struggling against. And you know how painful it is for your own inner darkness to eat you away from the inside. I don't want to be a husk or a shell or something empty, Doctor. I just want something. I know you do, and I'm sorry, Missy. I should have realized sooner. Some lord of time I am, eh? <laughs> you know, it might be fun to have a little music every now and then. For God's sake, not this again. No, no, I mean proper music. Maybe I don't need this guitar to be just perfect. Maybe I just need to play it. And maybe you should play with me. Play music. Together. That, I would like that. Yes. It might not be bad. And it might not be good. But it will be something. And we can work with something. Thank you. <laughs>